Hey peeps, it's your girl Daxani and welcome back to my YouTube channel. First off, I just want to say that, you know, I haven't really been pumping out these YouTube videos as often as I would like. But I have a reason for that, and it's because I'm currently in the process of learning Spanish. Yes, estoy aprendiendo español. Don't get me wrong, I'm still producing artwork and stuff. I'm still pumping those bad boys out, or I should say bad girls, because that's all I draw, really. Um, but you'll find them mostly on Instagram and TikTok. But learning Spanish is definitely something I always wanted to do. And so I made it a goal this year to actually start. And my focus has just been on learning Spanish lately. I've been trying to really put that time, that effort, and I think I'm getting the gist of it. Um, I just really need to practice speaking more. And I've been watching all these other YouTube videos and, and everything about learning languages overall. And a lot of people had said that, you know, speaking it is kind of where you really need to kind of really get into the language when learning a new language. And of course that makes sense. And you know, I do all these different apps and stuff like that. But it, as far as like communicating, like I have some friends that kind of help me out with that. So I'm thankful. In high school, I had took a Spanish class, but I didn't really care for my Spanish teacher. She's very intimidating and a little bit mean. So I just, you know, she just didn't really make it comfortable enough for people to really ask questions to help them learn, you know? So that kind of was lame. And yeah, I didn't really learn Spanish in college because I had other priorities and stuff like that. Um, but now I'm like, hey, you know what? There's like so many opportunities to learn new things in today's world. Why not go ahead and learn Spanish? And so that's what I'm doing. But yeah, I just wanted to update you all on my current life situation. So that's where my head has been at these days. And, um, but I do plan on trying to really balance that out with pumping out these youtube videos because you know i i do like making these videos um for you guys and even for myself so um just gotta find that balance but anyways today i'm drawing an awesome cat girl um i was in this mood to use some pink and some black and i actually drew her based on this traditional sketch that i drew in my sketchbook not that long ago um when I was hanging out with my cousin, because sometimes we'll have our little sketchbook session and just chill out and everything. Um, but I'll go ahead and post up what the original sketch, or it's not even a sketch, like I use Posca pens and all that jazz and watercolor and everything. So here's that. In my original drawing, she has like all of her hair is just pink. And initially that's what I wanted to do for this drawing too. But for some reason it was just overloading with the pink and I just wasn't having it. I was like, oh, this is too much pink for my comfort. I'm not, uh, I'm not really digging this for some reason, you know? So I was like, well, let me go ahead and just add like pink highlights in her hair or something, you know, like her roots kind of just grew out. The outfit I was going for, like it's cute, right? But I just don't think I did that much of a great job putting her in this outfit. And I don't know, like clothing is still, it's still an issue for me. Um, sometimes, sometimes I get lucky and I'm like, oh shoot, like she looks good. Like, you know, this looks great and everything. But I feel like most of the time it's just kind of a, it's just disappointing and she's not that fashionable or whatever. And, you know, I try to look up different references on Pinterest as far as like outfits and styles and stuff because I don't really have that much of a fashion taste myself. I'm no fashionista. So, you know, thank goodness for the internet and Pinterest because I can look on there and see like, you know, some cool outfits. And you'll see later that I kind of added like some chains um, onto like the, what is it called? A plaid, on the plaid top because I just felt like it wasn't giving, like it just needed more. It was so boring to me. I was like, well, what if it had like chains going across, you know, like gold chains. And it did kind of help make the outfit look a little bit better. You know, it gave it a little bit of spice. Um, but yeah, I mean, maybe the plaid wasn't 
the way to go but I also liked the plaid like it's cool but I don't know let me know what you guys think at first like I did think about making like actual cat ears on her but I was like no like what if I just kind of use like buns like her actual hair like have it wrapped in a bun but kind of make it up and a little bit pointed in a sense where it's shaped like cat ears so that was kind of fun to do and then I started drawing fangs on her and I was like oh yeah she's kind of cute you know and um I wanted to take it a step further and actually animate it because I kept going back and forth with the eyes. I was like, oh, what if I actually made like her have like these yellow goldish eyes because in my sketch, that's what I did. And I was like, oh, but you know, I kind of like the the neutrality of her brown eyes. I, you know, I think that's beautiful. But I was like, hmm, but she would look even badass with some yellowish golden eyes like an actual cat so then I was like let me take it a step further and go ahead and do a little animation you know do my blinking of the eyes that I'm so used to doing and it, it has been kind of easier for me to work with blinking eyes it's fun now at first it's frustrating and tedious but I think I've gotten that flow right however I decided well if I'm gonna have her blink her eyes, I should like, like when she closes it the first time and she opens it, it's like golden yellow. And then she closes it, closes her eyes again and it's back to brown. And I'm like, oh my God, that could be so cool. Um, but I was kind of dreading it at the same time because I was like, oh, this is gonna probably take forever for me to do. And I really was trying to get my brain to process this animation, but surprisingly it was easy, it wasn't, too difficult but wait i even took it another step further and animated her mouth like from closed mouth to open mouth with fangs you know and i was like oh this that that would be awesome and you know i'm trying to do these little things try to animate other things to challenge myself a little bit you know i like the pleasure of not having the stress to do little animations like this but i really wanted this i really wanted this animation to succeed for this particular drawing because it just popped up in my head and i was like oh that that sounds like a cool drawing and it, ne it just needed to be done it had to be done my mind was already made up I can say that, you know, I was confident enough to want to toss in this bit of pizzazz. I have to say the mouth was, um, like it wasn't hard. I was just kind of getting over it because I was like, oh, so I gotta draw the mouth. And I think I drew it two different ways. Um, one is open mouth with fangs and then it's like half closed and then fully closed and you know that's not a lot you know but i was just like uh i have to actually redraw this or i guess you know keep drawing a different version of it but i mean it wasn't that bad but i think i was just kind of um draining out but yeah So that's it for today's video here is the finished product i think the animation is nice i think it's really cool um i'm not mad at it at all and you know just just the fact that i took it you know 
a little step further as far as animating the mouth. I think that's awesome of me. I'm proud of myself. Um, but yeah, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, feel free to subscribe, but don't feel obligated to. It's just a suggestion. And once again, thank you all for listening and thanks for watching. And I shall chat with you soon in the next video. Bye. Thank you.